I'm Ben Coates with Coates Homes. Welcome to my house. How do you differentiate yourself color-wise, but also with textures? Yeah. Tell us about what you specialize in. I think happiness and joy is what most of my clients say they feel when they view my art, and that is just because of the colors we use. We use vivid hues, reds, oranges, yellows, pinks, greens, and blues, and I will certainly do more muted works based on commission. We can definitely do that. But yeah, I am drawn to very colorful, colorful works. I just feel like color can evoke such emotion and feeling, and I love big, large-scale, colorful, abstract works. I really love to get active with my paint, and a lot of the works that I do, I do on my studio floor, elevated up on buckets. I mix lots of paint, and I splash it around, and really, I just, I love to make a mess. I love to paint. People ask us all the time, wow. how do you become an interior designer? How do you become mm -hmm. an artist? no better person than you to help us with that. How would oh. you want to become an artist uh -huh. if that was what you wanted your career path to be? I just fell in love with painting as a child and then my parents really encouraged me to follow my dreams and pursue it. And so I majored in painting. I spent all my time in the studio and then I worked on the curatorial side in a couple of art galleries in Sydney, Australia. And then I graduated and came back to Dallas and continued to paint. This might sound silly or like something your teacher would tell you, but I believe that we all are artists at our core. We were created to create. And so I would say pick up some supplies and find a clean kitchen table and just go crazy. Maybe open some wine and, and try it. There are so many available resources online in this day and age, YouTube tutorials, Instagram um, videos that will show you how to get started or what materials to use. And so really, I think that you just gotta go for it and quiet the voices in your head that tell you it's no good. You know, There's a lot of grace in painting. You can always paint over your canvas and start over. So I certainly do all the time. I know in the world of fine art, you hear certain dealers and stores and retailers talk about pedigree and degrees. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what differentiates an artist with a degree or their pedigree. What does that even mean? Mm -hmm. Well, it's certainly helpful if you've studied art and you've learned the classic techniques and you've had that opportunity. But also, I think in this day and age, a lot of social media has democratized the viewing and the creating and even the purchasing of art. And so many of the wonderful artists who are making headlines today are self-taught. And so there's great value in just exploration and certainly pedigree and taking classes to learn technique is important, but also just following your heart and seeing what makes you happy and what you would want to put in your home. I think that's huge and certainly very valuable for your collection.